Assalamualaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shobhim Adayo, again here with another informative video related to the electrical engineering. Today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the power and the power factor measurement in the pure resistive AC circuits. So in the pure resistive AC circuit, the power factor, the cosine phi is 1, it is a unity because the current and voltage both are in phase to each other. The power factor can be defined as it is the ratio of the uh, active power or the true power over apparent power is called the power factor or it is the ratio of the resistance over impedance or it can be defined as a cosine phi angle between the voltage and current. So before wasting the time, let us do the simulation on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, our main target is to uh, measure the power, uh, electrical power consumed by this resistive circuit and also measure the power factor. Uh, of the pure resistive circuit already we know the power factor of the pure resistive circuit is the one but we have to verify this uh, power factor which is the unity uh, through the MATLAB software simulation so implement this circuit on the MATLAB software so these are the parameters 220 volt supply and 50 hertz frequency and R load which is simple resistive load which is the 500 ohm and connect an emitter within series with the circuit now implement this circuit diagram so we need to again design a similar model take a blank model from the library and also we need a power library okay so now drag the components from the power library so we need the ac voltage source okay mm, we need uh, the load we need the also the ground okay and also we need measurement block now. current measurement the voltage measurement first of all we are going to implement the circuit on the system oh sorry matlab software now assemble the circuit according to the circuit diagram so this is the emitter which is used to measure the current of the circuit now this is the rlc now make it a simple branch type r so this will be simple resistor which is connected with the source okay now this is the voltmeter now connect the ground with the negative terminal of the supply voltage now connect the voltmeter in parallel across the load okay now we need some blocks like uh, from the sinks we need uh, display uh, we need uh, the root mean square block okay. now. now this display will give us the RMS value of the current okay flowing in this resistive circuit so this will be tagged as the emitter display okay now again we need both components okay now this will give us the volt meter rms value of the voltage so this is the volt meter display okay now our resistive circuit is ready but now our main target is to uh, measure the power electrical power consumed by this circuit and also measure the power factor uh, of this uh, pure resistive circuit now we don't have any kind of the power factor measurement block in the matlab software is available so we need to design the power factor block to measure the power factor of the resistive circuit so we need the component which is required for the measurement of the power factor so uh, we need the 
meth operations we need the divide block okay uh, we need uh, the trigonometric function okay uh, we need the product block okay and also we need the gain block okay and also we need the uh, multiplexer and also we need the active and reactive power measurement block so this is the active and reactive power measurement block so now uh, assemble these blocks step by step then we will so this is the multiplexer several inputs and single output so this is the power measurement block from where you get the active and reactive power okay active power consumed by this circuit now we need the rms uh, block again and again we need another rms block okay, now now first sig first rms block is the v maximum okay and second is the i maximum so connect this block with the voltmeter of the connected across the load side and connect this block with this emitter okay now connect this input of the voltage side to the v maximum okay now this is the v maximum and connect this i input to the power block from the i maximum and output of these rms uh, value of the voltage with the product okay now and rms value of the current to the product block so now this product block would, would give us the apparent power which is the product of this rms value of the voltage and the current okay now the divider block now this block now what is the power factor power factor is can also be defined as it is the ratio of this vi cosine of x over here is the power factor divided by the vo, uh, apparent power okay so this is the apparent. so now this block output will give us the cosine of phi so now so it is the ratio of the active power or apparent power so now this apparent power will be as a divide okay and now from this uh, multiplexer output so this is the power active power and this is the active power okay now this output of this power is connected to the input of the multiply multiply input of the divider block okay now from the output of this block we will get the power factor and now how we can get the power angle so power angle now what is the power factor cosine phi angle between voltage and here the, this is a sine function now make it as a cosine phi so this is the a cosine phi uh, output signal type is the real one okay now this is this function this block function will be denoted as a cosine of x a cos x power factor okay so from the output of this we will get the uh, angle of the power factor but this angle is in the radian form so that's why this gain block is connected with this uh, uh, a cosine of phi now 
our uh, if we are uh, taking the power angle in the terms of the degree so now we have to convert the radian value into the degree value so formula for converting the radian value into the degree value so that will be uh, 180 divided by pi so 180 divided by pi is the uh, conversion of this uh, output of this radian value to the degree value so again we need the display and another display so this display will give us the power angle okay and this is the this display will give us the measurement of the power factor okay now this is the r simple r load simple resistive load okay now so this is the power block and this is uh, this is the product block which give us the uh, product of the uh, apparent power now power factor is the ratio of the active power apparent power that is called the power factor also we have to measure the power consumed by this uh, resistive circuit so connect an other display okay uh, with this uh, power so this would give us the this will give us the result of active power in watts okay so this will be the active power consumed by this resistive circuit in watts okay and um, uh, we have to change all these parameters supply voltage 220 volts frequency is 50 hertz okay now load according to the circuit diagram is 500 ohm so we are 500 ohm so go on to the each rms block make it frequency 50 hertz 50 hertz 50 hertz and again this 50 hertz okay and also this is the power factor power angle okay and this output from this block give us the power factor because it is the ratio of the active power or apparent power and this uh, a cosine of y uh, will give us the angle of the voltage and current so this will be in the radian form so convert this sorry and make it uh, as a because this one is the radian convert into the degree value so this will be radian converted into the degree so so now uh, we have changed uh, all the parameters of the circuit our circuit is ready or simulation and our main task is to uh, observe the power factor when the circuit is the pure resistive one so this is the pure resistive circuit that we have implemented on this matlab software observe the power factor result and the current measurement the voltage and the active power okay so simulate run the simulation and observe this now you can see the power factor is one okay because this is the pure resistive circuit so power factor which is the ratio which is the ratio of the active power or apparent power is called the power factor you can see this is the one and uh, the active power consumed by this circuit is 48.4 watts okay and this is the voltmeter display will give us the rms value of the voltage across the um, measured across this uh, resistive load and this is the rms value of the current flowing the resistive circuit which is 3 0.311 ampere and we can also observe verify these results with the help of the formulas uh, okay with the help of some mathematical formulas because a formula for calculating the power in the ac circuit is the p is equal to vi cosine of phi here cosine of phi is the one 
so we have the voltage and the current values so let's see some calculation and verify these results uh, with the help of some mathematical formulas and compare both results so now this is the same circuit now we are applying the 220 volts over here as you can see the 220 volts we are uh, we have applied to this circuit okay and now we are getting the 155.6 okay now rms value uh, of this v maximum is the 220 volts and 0 0.707 multiply so we will get the rms value of the voltage which is 155.6 volts. so power factor of the pure resistive circuit is cosine phi is equal to 1 okay so the uh, how you can uh, so power for uh, uh, for calculating the in the AC circuit is that P is equal to VI cosine of phi. Here cosine of phi is 1. So how you are going to calculate the current in the circuit? So according to the Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R. So what is the V? 220 volts. Uh, but here we are uh, taking the RMS volts. Okay. So 155.6 is the RMS uh, voltage. Okay. Uh, so put the value of the resistance in the formula. So we will get the uh, current is 0 0.311 ampere and again you can see the ammeter will give us the uh, value of the current which is the 0 0.311 ampere and also this is the verification of the current and also put all these value of the voltage voltage current in the power factor in the fo power formula so v is the 155.6 and current is 0 0.311 ampere and the power factor is the one so uh, measure the uh, calculate the power so that will be the p is equal to 48.4 watts again uh, the power is the same one through the mathematical expression which is the 48.4 watts and uh, also we have uh, observed this power uh, which is consumed by this as a resistive circuit uh, on the MATLAB software is again the same one uh, through uh, measured by this block which is the active power and also in this simulation we have observed the power factor 1 with the help of this power factor measurement block. So this was the experiment regarding the power and the power factor measurement of the pure resistive AC circuit uh, using MATLAB software. Here viewers, this was the experiment regarding the power and the power factor measurement in the pure resistive AC circuit that we have done using MATLAB software. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last. Do subscribe my YouTube channel Shobhya Madhayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.